Hello, and welcome to Great Hang, the greatest hang that's ever hanged. I'm your hang, Tim McLovin, coming to you with your other hang, Micah Fox. Hello, Micah. What's up, Tim? Wow, look at you, looking cool, Micah, huh? This is what we call corporate casual. Wow, you're all dressed up and look nice. Thank you. We have our two fucking schlubby-ass guests on. You're making them look like fucking shit, Micah. Yeah, I know, you look great too, but these guys look like <laughs> crap. <laughs> yeah, I look like shit, just like our guests. We have two guests today. Super excited to have them Don't on. talk till you've been introduced. We have we have one of our favorite guests, possibly one of our favorite people in the entire world, Luke Moniz. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the first time on the show, Luke. Thank yeah. you, guys. It's an honor to be here. I was told it was a shorts-only podcast by this one. It is. Well, it is shorts <laughs> only, but I live here, so I get to wear pants. And yeah. also, I was at work, and Micah is also wearing slacks, I guess. Yeah. And we have... I got re- a stunt on these hoes. <laughs> and we have a returning guest, one of our absolute favorites, Micah. <laughs> I know. Everyone talks about him in the comments. Yep. They really do. They say, how does this guy get so hot? Can I fuck him? Can I suck this guy's peener? Yeah. When was the last time anyone unwrapped that knob? Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> That's a, people say that in the comments. It's Tommy McNamara. Hello, Tommy. I'm not wearing hockey pants. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Is there? A- it's a Batman reference because we're doing what? Give me this, Batman. Oh no! Oh, Tommy, that was a surprise. But that's why we have two. <laughs> That's why we have two guests, is because we're doing Wiki Me This Batman today. Oh, I thought they were going to announce their engagement. Now that I would like. That for, would be nice. We're but do you that can't, because it's July. You have to wait till next year for Pride Month. Mm. Oh, that's, that's right. True. Your only gays are allowed to get uh, engaged in July. Every Everyone knows, or at, in June, everyone knows after June, it's called Instrated instead of getting engaged. <laughs> We are trying to do a, I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry thing. (laughs) That was pretty good, Tim. What? Oh, yeah. (laughs) Thanks, Micah. Yeah, you're doing like 3D chess over there. That's right. I work 4D chess. I'm on a, I'm on a different, I'm on a different plane. Now, what is, is 2D chess just when it's on a computer? No, that's checkers. That's checkers. Got it. Okay. (laughs) And 1D chess is just a line. 1D chess. Yeah. 1D chess is just one solid line. It's tic-tac-toe. Oh, okay. Right. That makes okay. sense. Yeah. So you're mapping it all to the game. Yeah, absolutely. What no. are you trying to map it to? Nothing? <laughs> I'm trying to map it to Tommy and marrying Tommy. Oh, oh. you want to marry Tommy? Oh, we, could get, we could get you guys uh, hitched right now. Also, why was I getting called schlubby the whole time? I'm wearing a collar. I got a collar on. I yeah. got some dress shorts. Listen, you guys look like <laughs> shit compared to Micah is what I'm saying. Well, of course Micah looks better, but I have an <laughs> anecdote. Can oh, I share? Yes. I don't know if of course is ever the right word. but this okay. is the Tommy, you can share your anecdote. This is the part of the show we call... Catching, catching up. up. Oh, God. <laughs> Do you want me to uh, tee you up? Oh, please, yeah. What is the, what is the uh, about? What is the anecdote about? What are you it's firing short, out? It's shorts related. Tommy, I understand you recently had a uh, an issue with shorts. I did, yeah. Thanks so much for asking. Uh, so I was walking to the train today, and this okay. is not a fake today. I'm walking to the train to come here, and this uh, probably insane man says, Hey, nice. You're wearing shorts. Me too. I see so many guys wearing jeans today in this heat. (laughs) What are you stopping me to tell me this for? I had my headphones in. I kept walking, but damn. Damn. That reminds me of an anecdote I heard today that Mm -hmm. happened Thursday at the bowling alley. So Thursday at the bowling alley, there were these two gentlemen at at the alley late with one lady. And this is what the other manager was telling me, that the lady was sitting on one guy's lap. And then the other guy was like trying to hold her hand while Whoa. she was sitting on one guy's lap. Hell yeah. And then she started walking on the lane so they had to kick him out. <laughs> Damn. And, and wow. then she said once they got outside, the two guys started fighting each other over the girl. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And then the girl tried to break it up and the two guys beat up the girl. Wait, what? Yeah. God, the story was fun until that moment. Wait, Damn the story it. also had nothing to do with your story. Your story didn't <laughs> remind him of that at all. It had, he's it got had to, to tell that story anyway. It has nothing so to do with shorts. It, Tim has tricked you it again. Had to do, I, it had to do with hearing an anecdote. That's literally what it was. I, he was like, <laughs> it's an inter- interesting story, Tommy. You know, I heard a different story. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of a story. I'm fucking real. But it's not, my, it's not my... I'm just telling you that's what happened. So it sounds like that girl was playing 2D chess. <laughs> 
Yeah, we're cooking, and that's NCI I set Tommy up for that. We were we were cooking that before you came over. Oh, I gotta see the text chain of that brilliance. <laughs> Tommy goes, stop telling me this. It's horrifying. <laughs> it is a horrifying. Story. I can't pictures. believe they beat the girl up. Uh huh. And then they both went to jail. Wait, really? Wait, what? Yeah, they both got arrested by the cops. I mean, then fair. Yeah. You yeah. Can be beating up ladies. Yeah, yeah. for sure. That's what Sarah that's told me. That's just a wild story. Yeah, Why was a... she walking on the lane? They were all <laughs> fucked up. It was like three in the morning. That's the confusing part. But how'd they, how'd they uh, bowl, by the way? I think probably poorly. Mm. Most people there are pretty <laughs> What good. if he was bowling? One of the guys was bowling a perfect game. Yeah. <laughs> He's got the gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Big Pete Weber sunglasses. <laughs> He's like, who do you think you are? I am. Yeah. <laughs> and that girl's like, oh, my God. I got to sit on his lap. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he doesn't she, beat she me She calls up. that picking up a spare. <laughs> hey, yeah, there, there we, we go. go. Good. There we go. This is good. Now we can start the podcast. <laughs> Luke, do you have any anecdotes you'd like to tell, yours or someone else's? Or anything uh, that might remind Tim of another story about him? <laughs> <laughs> well, on the, I mean, this is a little bit, I have to say, this is a little tamer than Tim's story of uh, two guys uh, beating up a... <laughs> well, they, well, were they, do, they, they were, do call you Tim t- Tame Tim. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> they were Tame Tim Paula, I had they, to say they it. Were, they were <laughs> Tim Paula. <laughs> Let's go. Be, I don't know if you guys do episode titles, but Tame Tim Paula, I mean, that's that's the top of my, my title. That's what I'm going to title this we on do my do desktop. We do episode titles, but we do not take suggestions. Ah, I see. Well, <laughs> perhaps it will just be, uh, just. I'm putting it out there. This one's going to be called Schlubby Dickheads. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you dipping? No, I had to take a Tums. I got real bad heartburn. <laughs> oh, what? You haven't eaten a giant sandwich real quickly? <laughs> I, had to, no, I, I had to smash a sandwich. When you say I, I have really it, bad heartburn, I it. do you get heartburn all the time? Yes. You, you take Prilosec? No, I take uh, a Meprazole. He takes low TC. Isn't, that, <laughs> <laughs> isn't, that, isn't Prilosec a Meprazole? I believe it is. I probably is. Yeah. So then, yes, I do. So Okay, good. But well. I take the over-the-counter one the, or whatever the the... Non name brand one, okay, for money reasons. Sign up for the Patreon so I can get pro sec. <laughs> so saddest Tommy, pitch of all time. Geez. Sign up for the he, Patreon. He said like vomiting bile into yeah. his mouth. I have heartburn. <laughs> Listen, Jesus Christ. All right, here I'll do it again. Sign up for the Patreon so I can get Prilosec. Thanks. Okay. So I thought I had a heart attack recently. I mm. said this in our group chat. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, it turns out I did not. Here's what happened. I drink, go to the movies with my mommy, drink a big movie theater Diet Coke, you know, the giant Diet Coke. Yeah. After the movie, stop at Starbucks, get a uh, Trenta cold brew. Uh, with, with what any, could have no? happened? And right before I go on stage, I drink a Red Bull in the green oh, room. Oh, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, Tommy, these are all facts you left out in <laughs> yeah, the group chat. So then I'm on stage, and my chest is really tight, and I'm like having trouble breathing. I'm like, I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> Wait, did you say on stage? No, it was my internal monologue. And I was like, thought I was going to die. And then, like, uh, the next day I was totally fine. Because saying you're having a heart attack is like a very sitcom way of having a heart attack. I really, oh it would have been a God, great clip. It's also a baller way to get out of a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was not bombing. <laughs> With that much energy, Tommy was fucking wired. Yeah. 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 I was running around. I would stage. love to see you while you were on the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. Uh wow, that's crazy. So that's did you have any? Did you cut the coffee with anything? Was it just black? Uh, I, I did. Have, I always have it with a little milk. Imagine if you did no did milk. You cut it with anything. Baking what are you, soda. A coffee <laughs> dealer. Luke, is, Luke has been Doctor Luke this whole episode. Are you on? Are you on Prilosec? Did you <laughs> cut so it with true. milk? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, I mean, if you had had no, if you did no milk, you would have been. Had a real heart attack. Had a real heart attack. I guess so. Damn. But you cut the Red Bull with milk? <laughs> yeah. <do you> think <laughs> next time you should that. probably do that. The I bet the bar like Red Bull and cream, please. Oh. <laughs> that is so <laughs> gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a fun game is can you go to the bar and get the bartender to throw up in his mouth? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to the bar and order something, and the bartender just goes, no. Yeah. And just won't make it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Luke, you had a timid story to tell? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, honestly, I was that... trying to Byron Allen you. Oh, yeah, you were on your way over, and what happened? Uh, so I, was... I heard you were beta cucking, and go yeah, on. <laughs> I, was, I was chained to that radiator over there. And... <laughs> I want to play a game. <laughs> <laughs> I had to uh, cut off my own hand, and mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. 127 hours. And you know what day that movie takes place on? September, September 11th? 11th? September 11th, Shit. 2001. 
By the way, he didn't I, even know. It's true. I saw, and the he's clip. like the worst thing that ever happened. <laughs> he's like they lost two out, out, two towers, but I only lost one arm. <laughs> yeah, that's an optimistic way to think about yeah. it. Yeah. I saw on TikTok when that submarine thing was happening. James Cameron finding out about nine eleven. Did you guys see yeah. that? Yeah. No. He was diving at the Titanic, and it, there's footage. It was. It's from a documentary that came out like the in two thousand two. He gets out. He like re-enters like land from the submersible and climbs out of it and all his crew members are standing there solemnly and Bill Paxton like walks out of the crowd and goes worst terrorist attack in the history of the world <laughs> Jim, uh, Jim. Jim. Jim Jim it's the worst terrorist attack in the history of the world and James Cameron just goes <laughs> you know, like, oh, in the what? history of the world it'd be funny it'd be funny I feel like Hiroshima playing. has a lot to say about that well Except th- they can't, but you know they would have. Oppenheimer would've. in theaters, July something eighteenth. <laughs> it's just funny that he brought Bill Paxton with him, the guy who played the explorer. He brought, he's like, you be a real explorer, even though you're an actor. <laughs> I think it, Bill Paxton, by the way. I think um, it'd be really funny if he heard about it and turned around and got right back in the submarine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going back under. Cannonball. They, can't, <laughs> <laughs> they can't get me down here. <laughs> Um, all right. Well, guys, that was good have catching up. up. Oh, can I do one more anecdote? Yes, one more anecdote, and then I, of course, will have to do one more. <laughs> <laughs> this is my friend of the show, Zach Swan. Has he ever been on this show? No, we should have Zach on. There, a mini impression have been done of Zach Swan. What are you talking about? Uh, Who the hell is Crazy <laughs> Brett? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I noticed when you were naming the segment, you took a glance at your computer to say, before you said catching up. Oh, yeah, I was as a joke, yes. Yes, but I saw Zach doing a very funny stand-up comedy set, but he literally had his notebook on stage. He goes, hey, what's up? My name is... Zach. That's some classic sitcom shit. That's it some boy meets world shit. It, it wasn't on purpose to get a laugh. He just did it. He just did it because he's an insane person. Yeah, I remember he, I, I remember he used to start sets by going The Soviet Union has fallen. <laughs> that was so funny. I like that. Yeah. It will never come back. It's fallen. All right, Tim. Anecdote time. Go ahead, man. I don't know. I got a Zach He's one, got I guess. nothing. Well, Zach was very funny one night. He was talking about it. He goes, rage against the machine or socialists. And they're yelling, fuck you. I won't do what you tell me. You have to do what they tell you. And then he got stuck. He was drunk, so he just got stuck on going, you just have to do <laughs> it. <laughs> That's hilarious. One night he was drunk here, or at uh, Django's house, and he just kept going, I'll kill you. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. You're a good guy. Well, guys, after catching up, it's a little segment of the show we like to call plugs. Do you guys want to do your plugs? You don't have to. Tommy, go ahead. Uh, I'm freezing up right now. I'm going to have a new special coming out soon. Just be on the lookout for that. Follow me on everything. Nice. Tommy, MCNAM. Stand yeah. by your band. Podcast called Stand by Your Band. We have been booking guests more last minute than ever. <laughs> that is how I will sell the show to you. But it's a very fun show. I do with Tom Takar, enemy of the show. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I um, Luke Monis on everything. That's it. All right, and if you want to check out Tommy live, oh, yes. you can see him August sixth on my show. On my advice show that I do at the gutter uh, the first Sunday of the month, so come to that August 6th. If you're in New York, Tommy McNamara will be on it. Yes. Tito Garza, Mexican who does not speak Spanish. I be- does not speak. I believe uh, <laughs> August 6th is, is victory over Japan Day. And and then and we're gonna have a Japanese guy on a push around. Oh my and, uh, god, Tim! <laughs> probably Dan Yang or something. This isn't the clip. <laughs> I don't know what that is, and that's because I'm not racist. <laughs> Micah Fox yeah. will be there, and Brittany Cardwell. So come out to that August sixth. Check out fun. Tough Questions, yeah. and of course, check me out at Hot Underscore. I'll be Carbon flying back from the wedding that day, so I'm sure I'll have an anecdote or two. Nice. That's not what we do on that show. No, that's I'll true. I'll tell my it's... fucking anecdotes if I have a microphone. <laughs> Believe you me. <laughs> Believe you me. All right, Micah, go ahead. Do your little plugs. Oh, yeah. Uh, at M-Y-K-F-O-X. Find me on threads. 
Oh. Are you on there? I just joined it while last night, and let me tell you, it is thrilling to watch all the greats from social media get zero likes on shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> truly, awesome. truly awesome to watch just people with thousands and millions of followers <laughs> just take their old tweets and fail. Yeah. <laughs> fucking, fucking Matt Broussard just kicking out the jams to nothing. <laughs> Damn. Damn, you hear that, Broussard? I'm calling you out, Broussard. Yeah, let's start a beef with Broussard. He's what? a great person to start a beef with because he won't do shit. <laughs> That's right, you little pussy bitch. You got all those muscles, you won't fucking do shit, you handsome bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Damn. you sexy bitch. Yeah. You... Oh, oh, I'm going down, I'm sucking your dick, you're not going <laughs> to fucking do shit to me. I'll do whatever I want to your fucking hog, bro. Whoa. <laughs> I'll give you all my money, I don't care. Yeah. Oh, you want to eat my ass? All right. Okay, here we go. We have to now. We have to do reviews for the podcast. Do you hear how they tighten up because they actually want to fuck Matt Broussard? <laughs> yeah, they get. They're jealous of me. Jealous because I'm going to hold him down and suck his cock and stuff. Yeah. I've just <laughs> been confused by the trajectory. <laughs> now. Okay. The bit In is my life to he this can't moment. do yeah, shit. That's true also. He bit- can't do fucking shit, and I'll do whatever I want to him. Right. That and br- prove me wrong. Come on the show. Tim's going to bomb from your, the top. We need your clout. All right, here we go. Uh, do they don't give people's uh, names on here anymore? Whatever. This one's from Alex. So we have to do reviews for the podcast, and then we're getting into the game. Okay, great. It's reviews for the podcast, where we go on Apple iTunes and read reviews that you leave. Hopefully five stars, and we also go on YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, we don't have any Apple ones, so we have comments on the YouTube, though. Micah, we sincerely and wholeheartedly love the news segment of the show. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> is You're... this still going on? Yeah. It, no, because I won getting rid of the news. It well, is this gone. was like two months ago when I was on. Everyone was talking about the news segment in the review. The news came back <laughs> in news... a big way and was a huge hit. No, the hit, the hit is pissing me off. That's what their hit is. They love telling me they like mm. it, but nobody likes it. Mm. The news is a good segment. <laughs> Michael, we sincerely and wholeheartedly love the news segment of the show. It's definitely not because we want to troll you and watch you See? watch your mad yet confused reaction. Oh, that's a real. I thought he was joking. That's a real comment. The, yeah. Yeah, these are real. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, but he's. They're clearly trolling me. You can hear it yeah, in yeah. the tone. I mean, they are. Yeah, and there's there's an emoji at the end of the comment that is a. What's that? What's that emoji? I think it's a winking face. Oh, oh no, no, it's, it's a, this emoji. Yeah, the smiley rosy cheeks emoji. Oh, oh I like that one. Yeah. yeah. Nobody Bro- likes the news. See, Tim, everyone hates it. This guy likes it. He no. loves it. He says he fucking, it's a whole, wholeheartedly love the news segment. It says right here in black and white. Well, listen up, sucka. It's gone. Okay, Micah. Mm. Burnout Bruschito says, hell yeah, brother. Uh, snowflake emoji, cold guy emoji, snowflake emoji. You must be saying hell yeah to Pavone being from Canada. Oh, okay. I thought he was calling you a snowflake. I think that might be what it is. <laughs> yeah. You calling me a snowflake? You hear what I'm going to do to fucking Broussard? Snowflakes don't do that kind of shit. <laughs> uh, Jeff Castudo says, breadliners, laugh, laugh, laugh. So that was a line from you. You said from headliners to breadliners. Oh, Micah. yeah, just another That's witticism. Yeah. Listen, it's fast up here. <laughs> Wasted on this room. I mean, I'm <laughs> <what the> hell? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Mikey, you rude as shit. <laughs> All right, here we go. Guys, we'll get into the game. All right, so Luke, you haven't played the game. No. Tommy, you probably need a refresher on the game. I watched I've played the game more than anyone in the world. That's probably <laughs> true. Former champion. You're going up against former champion Tom, Tom, Tom Tommy McNamara. Uh, uh, who? Uh, who? Tim, you forgot to set up the most important part, why we booked the guests. I was going to do that. Well, it sounds like I you were I totally forgot. Is it to because do we're it. exciting young talents? Well, you guys ran the show Coney Island Baby together and no, possibly still not, do was sometimes. not the name of the show. That was the name that, of the venue. That was the name of the bar. Broadway, Coney Island, here I come. No, no, no. Boardwalk, Boardwalk Comedy. Comedy. We, we remember you. the name of your show. We care for you to remember the name of ours. B O R E D. <laughs> Walk Comedy. You <laughs> son of a bitch. How dare if, you? If I could be funny for a second. <laughs> Uh, no, but Boardwalk Comedy, you still do it, Luke, when you come to town sometimes? Yeah, we do Union it occasionally. Hall. We, uh, you know, when when the city needs us, when somebody flashes <laughs> a big uh, light in the sky of me and Tommy, we do the show. And... Our producer's kind of a Commissioner Gordon type. Yeah, that's so right. Luke, Luke flies off and he just goes, he does that. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that moment? <laughs> And you guys are dear friends. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Party mm-hmm. all the time, and I, I, I want, I like having people. Huh. I like having, Tim's trying to split you up. 
I like having happening. people on. I like having people on who work together to, uh, yeah, to try to split them up. You can't drive a wedge between us. Well, we'll see. Yeah, today, you'll need a driver, today's honey. game can do it. <laughs> What'd you say? Like, you'll need a driver, honey. <laughs> and, I uh, use the four wood. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> We can cut that out. <laughs> I liked it. My girl said, I want to see that four wood. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> see, and this is why I got to split them up. Mm-hmm. All right, so the game is yeah, called Wiki Me This. Yeah, they're too funny together. Yeah, the, the game is called Wiki Me, Me This God. Batman. <laughs> sure. Uh, Micah hates the Batman part, and I think that it's called Wiki Me This. But here's how it works. You, uh, okay. Here's, okay, think about it. <laughs> here's how it works. <laughs> So we're going to have four categories today. Yes. Okay. Personality, athlete, singer, and actor slash actress. But I'm just going to say actor and use it non-gendered, right? So yes. actor, singer, athlete, personality. Great. Those are our four categories today. Uh, you guys each get a pre-guess. So I'll give you the category. You get a pre-guess. If you get who I'm thinking of and wrote down... You get 15 points. I think this is where I will shine. You think so? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay. The pre guess? Well, you know Tim more than anyone in the world. I, uh, Tim, I know all of Tim's pre's. His complex <laughs> mind. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Micah is playing a sadosexual game. <laughs> Sado- 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 What's the sado I think game, he meant Tim? psychosexual. But uh, what? <laughs> what? What? I did mean psychosexual I believe game. Sado is the, uh, the guy who yeah. they, they – the Ken Watanabe's character in Inception. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Micah dresses up like Ken Watanabe's character on August 6th. Okay. <laughs> that actually would make oh sense. My God. That actually would make sense from Inception because we usually fuck while I'm asleep. How? Oh. Very, oh, yeah. Oh, and I'm asleep too, so it's not bad. He okay. gets that spinning top. <laughs> Very good joke. Yeah, that, that is a great joke. I was laughing. I liked it. That is a good tip. If you're ever fucking someone while they're asleep, just pretend you're asleep too. Yeah. yeah then you can't get in trouble. <laughs> okay. So if you get the pre guess, you get 15 points. Okay. 15 points. Okay. There, you get there are 10. So under the category, you get 10 hints at who it is. Okay. It starts from hardest to easiest. So if you get if you get it off the rip, I'm off, starting at hardest too. And then now we're now. cooking. <laughs> That is some Broussard jealousy coming through. <laughs> so, so if you get it, so if you get it after the first hint, you get ten points. Sure. And descending, you only get three guesses per category. Okay. So He's kind of fun if you hear a hint and you still oh, yeah. have it, don't waste don't waste it by guessing. Okay. Right. Yeah. So you can be like next, but then you risk the chance of someone else getting it. Okay. It's true. Yeah, and that's it basically. And I'll keep track of every three guesses, points. right? Three yeah. guesses, guesses per three. category. Guesses three. Yeah. Yes. And it be, y'all get th- guesses three. And it be. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying. Mike, what? I'm mugging to the camera. Quit not having fun. <laughs> I'm having the fun ass. mugging to the camera. <laughs> You're ruining the vibe down here. No, Enjoy no. yourself. No. I'm jimming it up. Yeah, he's he's jimming. jimming it up. It's okay. All right. Krasinski. So, Micah, pick a number Jack one right. through four. <laughs> four. All right. So, we'll start off with actor. Okay. So we're going to start off with the actor. So wait, we could have easily get, because that's how you listed them in order. What do you mean? Well, you said oh, I did. I did. <laughs> it was very easy to, if you wanted to hack the game, you could have. I didn't realize I did that. <laughs> but go on. All right. So we'll start with actor Micah, uh, uh, Micah, Tommy, Luke, this is time for your pre-guesses. Uh, can we, how do, do we just go so in it's order? Not, it could be any gender actor. Any gendered actor, yes. All right. I think it's The Rock. Incorrect. I will guess Sigourney Weaver. Incorrect. Can I ask a, a question to you guys? Sure. Yeah, you can ask how, him whatever you want. I'm an open book. How, how smart no, is No, wrong. Done. Like, Smarter what, than you think. What's his knowledge of stuff? Like, <laughs> with is he movie stuff, yeah. he's autistic level. Okay. But with like... Oh, Simon Birch. Is it Simon Birch? Well, the, the, it's an actor. In the, that's a character. The, the facts <laughs> come joke from character. Wikipedia. So these aren't facts that I thought of for the people. No, these I are understand. facts that come from Okay, Wikipedia. I'm going to guess Dakota Fanning. No. Okay. For 10 he points. He doesn't even know who Dakota Fanning is. I know who Dakota Fanning was. She was in fucking Man on Fire, bitch. That's, yeah, that's a good. God damn. Which you haven't seen, Micah? Have I? And you're making fun of me? I don't know. Tommy needs to grab his beer, and then I'm going to give us all our first. All right, clip. let's do it. 
Here we go. For 10 points. Okay. This person was born January 17th, January 1931 in Arca, Arca Butla, Mississippi. 1931. They're 92 years old, it says here. So, anybody, any guess? You, you, if you guess, you get one of your guesses taken away. In Mississippi? Uh, Mississippi, Arca Butla, Mississippi. No, uh, nothing. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. All right. Nine points. This person's father left shortly after they were born. Tom it- Takar? <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, that is, you do get. That's not, that's a joke guess. <laughs> yes, you do make get to make joke guesses. I get to distinguish oh, wait, if g- they're joke guesses, and if they're not funny, you it is a guess. <laughs> is it Judy Garland? No. So you're down to two guesses. Fuck. All right, here we go. From the, oh, this for eight points. From the age of five, this person was raised by their maternal grandparents, John Henry mm. and Maggie Connolly, on their farm in Jackson, Michigan. See, these are so, these suck, yes, right? Like, sucks. after five, after five, it gets easy. I try to make it easy okay. after five. Okay. All right. For seven points. This person began their acting career at the Ramsdale Theater in, Man- in Mantis, in Mantiste. Michigan. Is it Gene Hackman? No. You have two. You have two. Tommy, you still have three. All right. For six points. This person made their film debut in Stanley Kubrick's Doctor Strange. Whoa. Love. Okay, now we're getting interesting. Yeah. Because I've seen this film. Right. So I, th- I figured some of you have seen it. Mike, have you seen Dr. Strangelove by Stanley Kubrick? Yes, I have, but I don't remember the actor's name. Oh, my God. I think I know it. <gasps> Uh-oh. Is it James Earl Jones? Oh, my God. Yes! Tommy. Go. I Tommy. am not your father. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's not the quote. <laughs> Tommy with six. I just watched this movie this year. Oh, wow. Yes. So 30-year-old James Earl Jones, basically. He's in the plane. Yeah. Do you ever yeah. See yeah. Okay. I just don't remember him being in the plane. God, middle. I'm so fired up. I got it. During the, during the, early, during the early to mid-60s, for five points, I'm giving you the rest of the ones. During the early to mid-60s, this person acted in various Shakespeare works, becoming one of the best-known Shakespearean actors of the time. I thought that one was a little easier. Is it James Earl Jones? You got it. <laughs> Five points for Luke. No, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> that is not fun. You know, Tim, you're all right. <laughs> I had such a good opportunity to say, Luke, I am your father, and instead I said, I am not your father. <laughs> Watching too much more. You get it. <laughs> Which is my guess for the personality, by the way, for the pre guess. Uh, all right, all right. Well, so does that, are you going, because you get to pick the next category. Yeah, personality and pre guess is Maury Povich. All right, well, your pre guess is wrong. Okay. <gasps> In 1987, this person starred as Aug- in August Wilson's play Fences at Troy- as Troy Maxson. So I think that would narrow that it down. It yeah, we've already gotten James Earl Jones. I know, but I'm giving the rest for the people. Oh, I don't want to hear Tim Reed. And, uh, and to kill time. I see. Some of this person's movies include Conan the Barbarian, Matawan, and Field of Dreams. May the force be with you, guessing this actor. <laughs> I wrote that. That wasn't from That's Wikipedia. Fun. Yeah, I, oh, and, I believe uh, that. That wasn't from Wikipedia? How would that be from Wikipedia? <laughs> Sometimes on Wikipedia you do see something where it's like the person clearly edited their own page where it's like, uh, he became a legend in the business. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, I don't think that's really a... Uh... Uh, and then Mufasa and Darth Vader yeah. uh, was not the last one. Okay, so for personality, Tommy, you already pre-guessed Maury Povich, Luke, Micah, go for your pre-guesses. I'm going to say Elon Musk. No. Has anyone ever got the pre-guess right? Yes. Tom has gotten it. Tom Takar, enemy of the show, has gotten it. Didn't Ashley get it? And Ashley got what it. What can personality be? Uh, Did I person- never get it in the first one? Personality no. is like a talk. Like it could be like a talking head. It could a person be an Elon Musk. In the, David an, Byrne. An Elon Musk. Like. Any like a like a news person, I guess you could do that. Would be I guess would be one. Uh, who else? Like Paris Hilton is a personality. I'm say uh, it's not Paris Hilton. I'm I guess. gonna say Emeril Lagasse. Bam, wrong. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh man, that was All good right. Registing right there. Uh, <laughs> with the O, yeah. yeah, that was good. This person was born at the Children's Hospital in San Francisco, California, on May 16th. 1969. That's for 10 points. Good to know the uh, hospital. Is it Tucker Carlson? Micah got it. Oh, oh my God. 
God, Michael, How? what I, the fuck? I'll tell you when I figured it out. When Tim said, uh, it could be a news I didn't personality. Think he was that He's so oh. dumb. D- He's oh, so Luke. dumb. Well, there's no way it's a news personality. As soon as he said that, I was like, Tim loves Tucker. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate him, but yeah. Damn That's, it. Yeah. That rules. Ugh. As soon as he said news personality, I was like, I should have guessed Tucker first before Musk. Damn. Damn, I, I know. fucked up. I fucked up. I know my man's. But I fuck up every game. Someone always gets something because I fuck up during the game. That felt Damn. good. And then for nine points, it was this person began their media career in the 90s writing for the Weekly Standard. For eight, po- eight points, Tucker Carlson's paternal grandparents were Richard Boynton. You had his Boynton. name in that? No. Yeah, I, if we made it to of, eight, we would have really had it. <laughs> instead, of, instead of saying this person now, I can just say Crazy he's from San Francisco, huh? I know. And you'd think, you'd think he'd be a little more open-minded. Honestly, that almost stopped me from guessing Tucker, but I was like, I knew you. I was like, no way. <laughs> I was just waiting for the age to be somewhat appropriate, and it was, and I sprung. Well, so you only guessed by age and him saying the news. I knew it. Once he said the news, I was like, my next guess is Tucker Carlson, oh unless God. the age rules it out entirely. Wow. Well, how many news people can Tim name? That's another question. He can name a few. He's yeah, a I watch the news a lot, actually, mm. it, which is crazy. I watch a lot of... <laughs> Ultra left leaning stuff on YouTube. I guess it's not the news, more as it's left wing propaganda. But I, I watch it a lot. That's good. Uh, Tucker Carlson's paternal grandparents were Richard Boynton and Dorothy Anderson. Tucker Carlson's first That's journalist cool. job was as a fact checker for Policy Review. Uh, he interviewed Governor. How ironic! A fact checker. A lies. fact checker. He's like, he's like, wow, they can really get away with a lot of shit. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> George Bush, uh, he interviewed George Bush in 1999 for Talk Magazine. He was a CNN commentator from 2000 to 2005. By the way, I forgot a plug. I'm going to, I have an article coming out in Talk Magazine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the Talk Magazine 10 yeah. comics to watch yeah. list. <laughs> uh, the, uh, hosted a primetime debate show Crossfire from 2001 to 2005. He's the heir to the Swanson what dinner gotten, fortune. Matt? Oh, wow. You, you would have gotten it off of the Crossfire? Crossfire, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then in 2009, he became a political analyst for Fox News. And this person was recently fired for the most coveted primetime Fox News slot was for one point. Why did he get fired again? Uh, uh, he's saying it's because he wasn't allowed to talk about Ukraine and Russia. Yeah, but yeah. It, was because of the, uh, it was because of the lies over the, um, the oh, voting machine. Oh, because they got sued. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Dominion. Yeah, sorry, I had to drink some water. I'm fucking. I heard he's a sadosexual. <laughs> yeah, he was doing it for sadosexual reasons, lying to America. Yeah, but he's on Russell Brand show right now, being like, "You're not allowed to talk about how Ukraine's losing and blah blah." Boy, I agree that you're not allowed to do that. <laughs> we got him to the Greek. <laughs> why do we get him to the Greek? Why do? You, why would you? Why would we even want him at the Greek? Yeah. <laughs> We Why would Al the like, Snow be like, in Sarah Marshall and then get him to the Greek? But the Jonah Greek. Hill's character changed. He worked at the hotel, and now he works in the music industry. No one's talking about that. <laughs> it's true. By the way, you think about that? He plays two different characters. I've thought about it. The Snow, the, the Aldoverse. <laughs> so I was gonna. I was trying to do something with the Snowdover. I was in the Snoo the Snooniverse. The Snooniverse. The Snooniverse. The Snooniverse. Yeah, that. I mean, it worked. I'm sorry. Uh, well, the show's over. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, Micah, you have 10 points. Luke, you have zero points. Tommy, yeah, apparently. six points. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now you have your choice between athlete and singer. There's only four total questions? Yeah, I had oh, to do shit. it at work today. Yeah, because how hard could it be to think of a fucking celebrity and then look at their Wikipedia? It's hard. <laughs> it's the hardest thing in the world to do. You couldn't just do that on the spot right now. It's hard coming up with what should go where. Okay. You um, could have ChatGPT do it. ChatGPT yeah. will be doing nothing. Well, Except for all well. of our jobs. Yeah. Universal I bet it would Basic do Income now. Really well. Damn it. Um, what Stupid are we choosing between GPT. athlete and singer? Athlete and singer. Let's go singer. All right. We're going with singer here. Uh, Pre guesses. Mm-hmm. You don't. It doesn't have to go in order. You guys think of something. I forgot. Can... can it be a band or it has to be a singer? It can be a band. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Now Mike is going to read into the way you said that and pre guess it right, and it's going to piss me off. Yeah. Good. I hope it does piss you off. Now I have to get it right. 
Are you waiting, Luke, till Micah mm-hmm. guesses? Or are you just still thinking? I'm still thinking of what? Of your brain. Yeah. It's crazy in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bunch of guys eating candy. <laughs> bon Jovi. No. Mm-hmm. A good guess, though. A good guess. Oh, that helps them. No, not really. It just is something I would think of. Okay, okay. good. Is it Carlos Santana? Wow, no, but... He also doesn't sing. He famously. never sings. He, <laughs> he only guitar. plays guitar. He only Wait. plays guitar. When he does the national anthem, oh, he just shit. plays on guitar, and all of his songs with lyrics are other people. Then that guess doesn't count. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And my guess is the correct one, which is Garth Brooks. No, it was Chris Gaines. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it, uh, it's not Garth Brooks. Um, okay, so let's start it out. Uh, for 10 points. Yes. This person was born March 25th, 1984 in Los Angeles, California, United States. Oh, interesting. So pretty young. 39 years of age. Is it Miley Cyrus? No, she's not 39. No. It does count as your guess. It does count as your guess. Of it was it not funny. It was not uh, Oh, okay. What? I'm was just being be? mean. What the fuck? <laughs> now the guesses have to be funny? All right, I guess you have a small dick. Oh! That is go. correct for nine <laughs> points. <laughs> uh, 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 let's go. For three inches, that is correct. All right. <laughs> for zero comes, that is your tragedy. What the hell? Yeah, for you. He's got I, oh, I always get mine. <laughs> oh, my God. Micah, uh, you're and down By mind, j- he means a handful of his own jizz. Ugh. All right, Micah, you are uh, down. Trouble in paradise. <laughs> You're down to two guesses. Oh, no. Okay. Tommy and Luke, you don't have a guess? Not yet. Okay. Uh, for nine points, this person's eponymous debut album was released on RCA Records on January 30th, 2007. Is it Usher? No. Um, And how old is uh, what? Can you give me the the first fact again? Yeah, this person was born March twenty fifth, nineteen eighty four, in Los Angeles, California, United States. Who is an Aries? Hmm. <laughs> it's, my, it's my birthday. Can I do I a second like guess? Know. That's your birthday. I yeah, feel like you've got a heads up on. I this. know like two people, famous people, born on my birthday, but they're way older than that. It's Aretha Franklin, I think Elton John are both born that day, and they're both singers. Interesting. Interesting. But this nineteen eighty four, I'm like ep- eponymous album in. 2007 um is it fuck i don't know i'm not I, is it mm, one, is it Katy perry no yeah. wow everyone down to two guesses tommy did you have something you wanted I'll, I'll to wait say for the next clip. okay for eight points this this person's third album is holiday themed third album is holiday themed Tommy, you have a holiday-themed album. I certainly do. The Christmas Boy. Micah? No. You're okay. You're not trying to. You're not trying to lose one. All right. I'm going to go on to number seven unless we have any. Yep. Do it. All right. This person attended the Boston Conservatory for three semesters, majoring in musical theater. Uh, I'll do a guess. Okay, Tommy, on the board. Actually, I will not. Tommy, off the board. All right. Here we go for six points. This person has struggled with eating disorders at age 13, began starving themselves and exercising compulsively, and at 17 became bulimic. Is it pink? No. Okay. Just give me one reason I should <laughs> eat a little cake. Tim, don't do what? that. <laughs> Tim's just mad because he has the wrong ED. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, okay. So we're, everybody's at two guesses. Yeah. Uh, is oh mm. here we go, Luke. Two thousand seven. Luke's still stuck on the nine clue. Okay, do you want to go for five? Go for five. five points. In March of two thousand and five, this person starred as Annie Oakley in the Cabrillo musical theater production of Annie. Annie get your gun. Of, <laughs> That is the play. Annie, get your gun. Tommy the play is that correct. I was in once. Wait, in what year did that happen? Two thousand and five. So that means that they were pretty young in two thousand seven. When they this is kind of a tough one, I think, because they're not primarily a singer. I bet musical theater. All right, keep going. Well, they are primarily a singer. They're under the singer category. Okay. 
their husbands have been Nick Kokus and David Foster. Wallace? Nick Kokus from 2008 to 2016, and then David Foster 2019 till present, still married. So I know Ashley Hamilton would get this right because she talks about this on the newest episode of Tough Questions, which will be coming out next week. If I can okay. slip a little plug in for the newest episode of Tough Questions coming out next week. All right. For three points. Yep. This is where it gets pretty easy. This person was the runner up on the fifth season of American Idol. Oh my God. Fifth season of American Kelly Idol. Kelly Clarkson. That was she was first season. She was the very first season and she won. Okay. Fifth season of American Justin Idol. Joshua Guarini was the runner up on the oh. first season. Um, and I only know that because of guess. the. Oh, is it is it Jordan Sparks? No, it is not Jordan Sparks. One and one. You guys each got one guess left. Is it, who was on American Idol? Is it? I think I might get it. Okay, Tommy's working. He keeps rubbing his. Oh, birth. is it Carrie Underwood? Fuck no. Oh, I was about to say that. Oh wow! Sense. All right, I'm out. So you're out. You're out. you don't have any guesses. Those, those are my three guesses. Yeah. Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> this person is also established like in. Golf a- where you have to tell you <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Be a gentleman. Yeah. yeah. This person is acted in the House Bunny, Shark Night 3D. They played Karen Cartwright on one of the lead roles on Smash. They were on uh, CBS's The Scorpion as Paige Dinny. Din- <laughs> oh, hey, <What>? Denny. <laughs> what? I don't know. I felt like I felt like Tommy watched Smash. I don't know why I, I felt watch like Smash. I, I, I like to Smash. I, well, that's what <laughs> I, I assumed you watched it. All right. That title was very misleading. No one smashed on that show. All right. <laughs> uh, and for one point, I bet this person is a big fan of Catherine the Great. Oh, is it... Um, Use your microphone to talk into on the sorry. podcast. Is it Catherine McPhee? That is correct. Yeah, Luke is on the board. I mean, that is an incredibly obscure... A bad choice, yeah. all would say. Tim, what the fuck? I know what? Nanny McPhee. Is that... <laughs> 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 That's hilarious. All right, well, next game I'll use Nanny McPhee. My bad. I didn't know. <laughs> Nanny McPhee. Catherine McPhee, is this from your weird bait search? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think I'm? You think I'm doing? I'm pulling a Renan and jerking off to CGI deep fakes of Catherine McPhee. Is that what Renan does? He Renan, he jerks off to CGI deep fakes of Emma Watson. Oh, I wouldn't peg God. him as a guy who does that. <laughs> what? Oh. That is so, it is so weird to do that to a feminist. Yeah, that's so funny, Renan. He was talking about. He was talking about, he talks about it on Tough Questions. He was uh, at Starbucks and opened his computer. There's a big fake CGI Emma Watson pussy Jesus on his Christ. computer when he opened it. All she it. does is speak at the UN about women's Ooh. rights. That's so bizarre. Yeah, well, she's speaking <laughs> to run on about jerking off into a sock, too. <laughs> run on. And that's Dobby's sock. <laughs> <laughs> she was in the uh, Harry Potter films. <laughs> a little no- dobby nobby <laughs> all right we're down to it our last one the game is still attainable for everyone luke you have to get nine well, luke points. could only tie luke well he could win he could win he could get so a pre-guess. Guess 10 points right but he could get 10 or if he pre-guesses so he could tie he would have to get on the pre-guess. He to win. has one point so if he gets the very first one for oh, 10 he you can got win. one point i'm sorry or if he gets a pre-guess he could win My fault. wait how did you get a p- oh just now he got Nanny McPhee. Nanny McPhee. <laughs> yeah, it's anyone's game. All right. So it's anyone's game here, and if we do tie, we are going to go to a uh, Trivial Pursuit question. I, okay. I have decided already at work. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Cool insight into the system. <laughs> people, I like to, I like people to know the inner he workings of how the work. show works. Yeah, everyone's always trying to fathom how Tim's mind works. I wish works. I could crack that code. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, this show is going to be so short from me cutting out all the stuff you guys said about me. It's just going to be like, the show is going to go, Tim, this was so fun. Thank you. And that's it. That's going to be the episode. I don't all remember anyone sh- saying it was so fun. <laughs> Got it. Got it right now. Oh, no. You fucked no. up, Mike. And meanwhile, it's going to be cut to, Tim, this was so fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn, now I don't have to cut anything together. Yeah. More than four inches. <laughs> <laughs> and 
I'll just, it'll be me going, Tommy, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. The athlete. This yep. is athlete. We're down to athlete. Fuck. Three guesses. Okay. Scotty Pippen. Wrong. No tipping Pippen. Oh, no tipping Pippen. Don't tip. I will go with Wayne Gretzky. No. Michael Vick. Ooh, no. He does have that dog in him. That you is, do got that dog. That is a good Tim guess. <laughs> yeah. It is a good Tim guess. Trying this. to study him and just <laughs> learn. You're trying to be a mind hunter. <laughs> All right. This person was born in Akron, Ohio. And LeBron was, James. No. God, I wanted to say it too. Oh. But it was your guess. Can I tell you another guess? Yeah, you have three guesses. Steph Curry. No. Oh, they're both born. So Damn, you're down to two. one guess. What year? Does it say in that? Is that the whole? No, but it says the youngest of 14 children. Oh, 14 children. That is so interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, for nine points, this person played Little League Baseball in Scranton, Pennsylvania for, Sloan, for Sloan's Little League Green Team. Oh, he was in the Green Team. Green Easy. Team. Easy. Luke, you got you to gotta use your gotta last guess. guess. Is, you gotta, it, is it Aaron Judge? No. Is it Dennis Rodman? No, Luke, you're out. All right. I'm going to turn off my mic. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can still riff and stuff. But I don't riff it. too much. Yeah. Uh, all right. For eight points. Whoa. This, <laughs> I burped. It burped and then said, whoa, like you'd never done that in your entire life. I wasn't expecting to burp. It just ran up on me. This Usually per- you schedule those burps. <laughs> this person went to Kent State. Kent State. Uh, was he shot by the no, cops? No, no, he was guard? not shot okay. by the police. All right. Kent State. Mike and nothing? Mm-mm. Mike, you can just sit back. No, we have to get to four, and then I can sit back. Oh, okay. This person was a walk-on for seven points. Walk-on for the, their sport of choice at Kent State. I don't know. All right. For six points. In 2010, this person was inducted at a Kent State K Varsity Hall of Fame. Kobe Bryant. Oh, fucking shit. What? Kent Kobe State. Bryant. No. Huh. All right. For five points. This person went to dinner with friend of the show Karen Feehan at Fuck Keen this. Steakhouse. This cannot be a clue. This is bullshit. <laughs> For five they points. They went to dinner with Karen Feehan. This Wait, is my last I chance to win. Fucking know this. Are you kidding? No, no, no. You can tie with one this more This breaks guess. the rules of the game. No, it isn't. It's, no, it doesn't. Be, it's called Wiki Me This. <laughs> it's not called OnlyFans Me This. It can't be Karen Facts. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'll Tommy, find... turn your mic off. Honestly, in fairness, I know I still don't know. Uh, okay. Mike, Micah cancels will... out. If, if Micah doesn't know, so yes. it cancels out. Yeah, Micah has no idea. All right. Okay. Still mad. You know it was my chance to win. And all right, it was all, right a all right, Tommy, look. A look let me fact. find something else here. Just do the next question. Why is this so hard? I just uh, don't think that should count as one of the All right, for facts. five points, Tommy. Yes. Retire, this person retired August 30th, 2014, for the first time and retired again April 16th, 2018, for the second. 2014 and 2018. They retired and came back. I think about Karen going to dinner with this guy all the time. What the fuck? Made me very jealous. It's crazy you never talked about this. Was it a date? No. (laughs) It was to see if they had chemistry for a bar stool thing. Oh, right. Fuck. I don't know his name. I didn't know who he was then. All right. So they played Little League Baseball as a kid, but I think that was to throw us off because they ended up playing something else. Fuck, why can't I? This sucks. At Kent State. Yeah. Tommy's working Retired through it. How much time does he get? He, gets, he was mad, so I'm giving him a lot of time. <laughs> I don't know why it's pissing me off. I just want right, to win. All right, just go to the next clip. All right. This oh, person last chance to tie. Last chance to tie. This yeah. person played for the Steelers, the Bengals, and the Patriots. The Steelers, the Bengals, and the Patriots. Come on. I got to get this. I'll give you a hint. One season on the Bengals, one season on the Patriots. Uh, retired as a Steeler the first time, retired as a Patriot the second time. I really time. should get this. If I guess his first name, does that count for half the points? Uh, yes. Let Tommy let Tommy try first, though. I mean, he's not going to win, but it's still you want to get it. You're on the Steelers and the Did you look Patriots. it up? No, I'm just remember. I can only remember the first name, and I'm not going to guess it until Tommy 
loses. Yeah, Tommy should effort to guess. Yeah. I'm definitely going to guess. I mean, that's not the question. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> 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 Who was on the Patriots in 2018? This is your last chance to win, Tommy. Oh, my God. Don't let win. that pressure. He will still lose. Oh, oh wait, really? no, this is for no, four This points. is for the tie. Yeah, this yeah, is this for, this is for the tie. Was in time's ticking. I know time is ticking, and I'm just thinking. What's he thinking about? Guys who are on the Steelers and the Patriots. All right, Tommy, I'm going to have to count you down from 10. Okay. Nine. Eight. Seven. Luke is six, so serious. Five. I can't think of anybody. Four. Three, two, one. I can't think of anybody. Is his first name Michael? No. Oh. <laughs> Still didn't know who it was. No, I don't know who it is. And then this I'm... person plays outside linebacker. James Harrison. Yep. But you still lost. I and then but for you still and for one lost. point I wrote Jamestown and Harrisburg would be good ways God to remember. Damn it! I should have had it. I forgot he played for the Patriots. I've never heard that name in my life. <laughs> he Me was neither. the Super Bowl MVP, right? Me neither. Yeah, James Harrison. James Harrison is one of the scariest looking people I've ever seen in my entire life. I, uh, mother ten to I, nine, Micah. I didn't know. Uh, yeah. Wow. I didn't know who he is. And it's just because of, I know Tim's a Tucker head. Yeah. God, I got two questions out of the four, though. Which did I get, that's pretty did good. I get one point? You got one point. <laughs> that's pretty you good. You got Catherine McPhee, Luke. I guess I did. I thought I thought, I thought thought Catherine McPhee may have gotten guessed a little earlier, but I guess I just, I guess I would have never got it, and that's why I thought of it. <laughs> yeah, see, How did I, you even think of it if I, you would have never yeah, thought of it? I thought I had him figured out, but I don't. Yeah, it's hard to do. I'm an enigma wrapped in a fucking idiot. No, he's an enigma wrapped in prosciutto and other <laughs> cured meats. Ah, uh, well, this was a fun game. I think this was a fun. We episode. need another segment. I can't. I end beat on the this. champ. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. We'll do. We'll do trivial pursuit as a final segment. You guys want to do that? It. All right. That's fine. The I'll name let of you the guys, game well, is trivial. Wait, wait is it the three of us? Or we'll just let them. Try. I know who. He, I don't know who he is. You don't know James, the outside linebacker for the Pittsburgh? He's one of the best linebackers not, of all not time. Not a football guy. Now, you really wasted a couple clues on that one. Yeah. I mean, multiple Kent State things. Yeah. It's a hard game. Yeah. Tommy, the game is bad. <laughs> it's a hard game. It's poorly designed. It's a hard game. It's bad. I, the listeners, I don't know if they like it yeah. or not. Did you complain the other times you won, Tommy? Probably. Yeah. I, I love like complaining. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things. On the live show, he complained that he didn't get to riff immediately, and I made him go right into the game. <laughs> oh, well, that's right. Uh, all right. Uh, I think I wasn't the angry one at the live show. Palufo? Palufo was mad. Yeah, I mean, well, she was big mad. She was big mad. Why? She still. It was still a show. Just because no one was there, she got yeah. paid. It was empty. I did. Didn't. I don't think I paid. She anyone. got paid. <laughs> Wait, did we? I didn't get you paid. pay everyone for everything all the time. I assumed. I paid. didn't make any money on that, so I oh. couldn't pay anybody. I would have been out like a hundred and ten dollars. God forbid. <laughs> hey, you guys are getting paid today. That's what I'm saying. Right. Yeah, I That's do pay I everybody, even though I have rate. no money. <laughs> what? I hope it's my going rate. <laughs> it's $70,000. 70 grand, yeah. All right, here we go. And my Blue. rider, two Miller Lights I bought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, th- I mean, th- you do need to bring those. That's probably why Palufo doesn't respond to your text to do the show anymore. I think it's because her boyfriend's so small. <laughs> no, he likes me. He likes me. She, I don't know. It's always up in the air. People are like, Palufo does like you, but I just don't know. I feel like I don't know. I'm sure she likes you. It's like our boss at work. I don't know if he likes me. Oh, Arlen loves you. I don't think that's true. He never talks to me. He, he talks doesn't to talk to he's got He's on calls all the time. Yeah, but then when other when he's not, he's talking to everyone else in the office except for me. It's very odd. Do you guys know that Tim is wildly insecure? <laughs> I'm yes. worried about people. Well, and then he messaged me the other day about turning the AC off and locking the door. He always does that. Yeah, but Sam was there, and I locked the door. Anyway. Doesn't matter. I was just. What do you guys think about this? <laughs> All I, right. I like to leave work at work, personally. Yeah. <laughs> Trivial pursuit card blue. Here we go. What does blue mean? I don't remember. Geography. Oh, uh, no, that's not right. Okay. <laughs> it used to mean that, didn't it? Uh, I don't know what blue I hate means. geography. It's my least favorite thing. All right. I don't like Oh, maps. it might be. No, it actually it might be. Damn geography. it. I'm fucked. Name of what witchy city in Massachusetts? Salem. Salem. Oh, Mike uh, and Tommy at the same time. That was pretty that simultaneous. Was pretty, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give you that. both. I'm going to give you both 
half a point. Me Hell and yeah. uh, me and friend of the show Charlie Bury once went there, and we put our heads in one of those things. that's like witches with their heads cut out. And you put yeah, them, you get a nice picture. Could people were oh, people well, have, have fun in hell? <laughs> <laughs> were there? Was it just the two of you? It was, yeah. Uh, then see who if took d- the photo? <laughs> the, the witches. <laughs> 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 you got to do if you're gonna do oh a witch God. photo. If you're gonna do a witch photo, you got to do three witches. That way, you no can one... say which witch is which. Ah, right. that's fun. All right, Mike took my joke. Oh, did I take your joke? I feel like I'm a, my I feel second like I'm a grade teacher. <laughs> It's like the Bear Season 2, Episode right. 6. <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis is there. Jesus, Mulaney, inexplicably. This, this next one's crazy. What is the cynical comedian Louis C.K.'s expression for eating two full Pulls meals? Pulls his dick out. Oh, no, no. Oh. Two full meals in two different restaurants back to back. A bang bang? Wait, that's really a question? Yeah. Is that what it's called? A bang bang or no? It is. That is a bang bang. Tommy with one and a half wow. points. And I don't condone what he did. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, he should have called it a jerk off, jerk off. Because <laughs> of his crimes, you know? Yes, I understand. <laughs> We don't kind of laugh at that kind of stuff. That's really, like, really wrong. Yeah. You know what's funny? We Stories about two guys on... beating up a lady. Not <laughs> stuff like jerking off in front of women we may or may not admit. All right, Micah, go ahead. You're a woman. Say something on that. <laughs> we support all comedians here on Great Hang. Yeah. The good ones, the bad ones, every single one of them. Usually, they're both at the same time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, shit. Almost <laughs> dropped it. The three co-founders of YouTube all worked at which company before founding the video sharing website in 2005? Mm. Um, Google? Nope. Facebook? Ba- nope. You can keep guessing. Apple? Though. No. Napster? No. MySpace? No. Um, so it was like, like mid-2000s, nope. right? Uh, 2005, yeah. 2005. PayPal? That's yes. It. Oh, Damn. nice. Luke with one point. Micah with, with half a point. Well, I guess Micah gets one point and Tommy gets a point. So two points for Tommy, Why one point for a, Micah. Why do I get a point? Because oh, you, you guys we both said Salem same. at oh, the same eat. time. Okay. I was going to give you half a point, but it doesn't make any sense to do that. So Luke's got one. Okay. Tommy's got two. All Micah's right. got one. Here we go. Who wrote... 187 Men to Avoid, a survival guide for the romantically frustrated woman in 1995. Look at you guys looking at me. <laughs> this is insane. In 1985, Micah? you think I was reading books on romantically how to avoid frustrated? Men? 1995. Oh, in 1995? Like, I was well. <laughs> still too young to be reading that Micah shit. only read up to the first three men and then got stuck with me. Wait, say the whole thing again. I couldn't hear you over so the staring. Uh, that was <laughs> fucking insane. He stopped reading again. <laughs> so it was 187, which is what I pulled on a motherfucking cop. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah was it Coolio? <laughs> <laughs> uh, who wrote 100 and, say, 187 Men to Avoid, a survival guide for the romantically frustrated woman in 1995? Is it Kathy pe- Geiswhite? Using Who's the that? pen name Danielle Brown. Oh, pen name. I don't know. Kathy Geiswhite. And who's no. that? That's the woman who wrote the Kathy comics. <laughs> no, but you can still they you can still keep guessing. They um, use the pen name Danielle Brown. Dan Dan Brown. Yes. <laughs> the Da Vinci Code yes. author? The author of the Da Vinci wow. Code. Yes, yes, yes. This really? was yeah. eight years before he wrote the Da Vinci what the Code. Fuck? Yes. Yeah, this is the craziest fact of all time. <laughs> yeah, isn't that wild? Yeah, this is a crazy The Da Vinci deck. Code guy was like, he's if he's a symbologist, he's just not that into you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Micah, Danielle two points. Danielle Vinci Code. <laughs> Micah, stop. That probably is making a sound on the mic. How throwing ironic. The mi- <laughs> throwing the microphone. Throwing the microphone. That's got to be so fucking annoying, you dumb bitch. He went from girl code to Da Vinci code. Oh. <laughs> Move on. Oh, I had to do that Next so question. that joke could marinate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Micah, two. Tommy, two. Luke, one. Luke, you can get tied up with this next one. Sure, you sure? I can. Name one of the two chemical elements that begin with T and end with N. Titanium. So that's, that ends with that an M. M. No, that ends with an M. Teflon. No. Um. <laughs> Tommy is the Teflon Don. Teflon Don, yeah. Begin with T, end with N. Um, I'm really bad at chemicals. Chemicals. 
Do you have any I mean, is, is I mean, is it, it's a chemical element. Tin. It, yes. Ah. Three points for Micah. Tin McLaughlin. Tin, Tin McLaughlin. McLaughlin. <laughs> you got to oil me up, it, baby. It was confusing because you're thinking it's all this long shit. Yes, I was trying to think of long stuff. The other one was tungsten. Oh. Uh, Never would have gotten that. Never would have gotten either of those. Yeah. I always get the tungsten from Tim McLaughlin. <laughs> tungsten Damn. McLaughlin. Tungsten checks in. <laughs> <laughs> Could be another name for the app. I know that's right. Yeah, the name of the app is Dumb Bitch Throws Mike Back and Forth. Ah. Ruins while, show. While winning game. <laughs> All right, Tommy, you got a chance to tie Mike and then we'll have to do another card, which Luke then will keep you on the board. All right. Which make and model of souped up sports tard does Guy Sports Fe- tard? Sports <laughs> tard. <laughs> James Harrison. Uh, which make and model of souped up sports car does Guy Fietti drive no as the host idea. of oh. diners, drive ins, oh, and shit. dives? Oh, shit. No we fucking just watched his um, Camaro. That's right. No! Yes! You said make and model. Chevy Sh- Camaro. Okay, yes. Wow. <laughs> you can't get only half. Uh, the 1968 convertible sports, a ZZ502. You ever see? When was the last time you saw the Cabbage Patch? <laughs> <laughs> Micah, double winner for wow. today. Wow, incredible. Congrats to Micah. Wow. Oof. Congrats. And to think I was going to skip this. I think I have one and a half total points. <laughs> no, no, you have two total points. Two total points, okay, Two great. total points. Is that the lowest score in the history of the game? Let's no, do one I'd... more card. There's you want to do one more? We can do one more card. Wow. All right. I mean, I don't have anywhere to be but home. All right, last card. Here we go. I want to make sure this is still running. Micah, okay. Micah's going to make sure that the camera is still running. This will not be cut out of the show. <laughs> I keep everything. Luke, smile. That's for screenshots. Oh, yeah. wait, wait. Okay, hold on. Everyone, let's make a horrified face. Ready? One, two, three. All right, now I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that. Is that what people do on the thumbnail? Yeah, they always they keep their mouths open. They're Why? like horrified. I don't know. It's what Mr. Beast does, so it's what everyone else does. Got it. It draws the eye. Yeah. It seems What's like the it deal does? with this Adam 22? You reading this stuff? His wife's getting plowed on blacked. <laughs> Did you hear about this? Wait, who is Adam 22? Adam 22 is from the No Jumper podcast. So he does a podcast about rap music. He's a white guy with tattoos. Sounds like he's about to jump. (laughs) (laughs) He has tattoos all on his neck and face and stuff, and he talks hip-hop. His Uh, wife got banged out. His wife got banged out. Well, him and his wife had a podcast where they would bring porn stars on, and then together they would bang those ladies. Whoa. But now... It's a podcast? I get... I mean, what they, they call w- it? You made it weird? Yeah, I guess they would... <laughs> it's more like a podcast. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> so I guess they'd bring on ladies and bang them, and then Adam 22's... So they would bring, bang them together, and now his wife is branching out and banging other guys alone. She's branching out. Yes. Yeah. She's exploring. Yeah, she's fucking branches. <laughs> she's, she's she exclu- fucked Groot. <laughs> she's, she's doing a splinter show <laughs> i am g- g- root <laughs> <Pollen. laughs> luke is back uh, i'm back <laughs> so i guess she got smashed on blacked is what i was i uh, was Stop what i was saying that. all right do the card <laughs> all right i'm just saying black.com check it out sponsor the show <laughs> sponsor <Yeah>. the show <laughs> Um, which Asian city state is ranked the world's most expensive city in 2016 for the third year in a row? Tokyo. No. Shanghai. No. no. Osaka. No. Japan. Uh, no, no, that's a full <laughs> Tokyo. country. Ginza. No, no. Oh, Wait. um, uh, Seoul. Uh, fucking, um, no. Macau. No. Wait, that's a good guess, though. Macau is expensive. Which Asian city state was Thanks. ranked. The world's most expensive city in 2016 for the year, third year in a row. New York City? No. <laughs> San Francisco? No. Taiwan? No. <laughs> Not a city. I don't, um, I don't know. Hanoi? No. Um, I think we should go next. Place. All right. Dubai. Oh, Dubai. No. That's, not, That's yeah. a good guess. Three, two, one. I'm just remembering the scores. It's Singapore. Oh, right. Okay. How ironic. Sing- I know. Singapore, more like sing expensive. All right. <laughs> we'll here right we go. Oh, no. <laughs> Hire me. Uh, which San Francisco sitcom introduced us to the pint sized old Full House? Twi- All right. <laughs> that is correct. Mary Kate and Ashley grew up to be Mashley. fashion designers. That's true. All right. Uh, who casts the deciding vote in the U.S. Senate if there's a tie? The vice president. Damn, Micah. 
Damn. The Veep serves as the president of the Senate. Who's writing the back? <laughs> I don't know. Me? So, <laughs> what do you got, five? I don't know. Five it's hard t- to keep count. You're running up. It's not hard to keep count. It's five. Five to two to one. Grant Wood's American Gothic painting depicts a farmer. Oh, hold- American Gothic. Oh. Uh, pitchfork. Holding a pitchfork oh. and standing next to whom? His wife. Some old bitch. Granny Smith. It's not his wife. And his mother. No. Whistler's mother. It's not his no. wife? Susan no, B. it. it's not his wife. No. What the fuck? Susan B. Anthony. No. Is it a, is it a name or is it a, a nun? No, name? it's not a name. It's not a Amish, name. No. Amish woman. His daughter. Yes. Wait, really? Two points for Luke. That woman's his daughter? That is his daughter cr- often that is mistaken crazy. for his wife. That Fuck. that ruins the painting for me. <laughs> Did you know that? Or I will you just guess? keeps imagining that they're smashed. I will never jerk off to that again. <laughs> now Tommy's that gotta, explains all the sexual chemistry. <laughs> now Tommy's got to imagine that lady's getting fucking banged out on Black.com, sponsor of the show. <laughs> That's a fascinating fact. I mean, she is American God thick. But <laughs> <laughs> That's the butt. I, the butt. <laughs> That's crazy. I could have sworn they were. It was taught to me as husband and wife. I'm me saying too. the same shit. When they say American God, you go. Oh, like the couple. They're is like an American like, Gothic couple. Is this like Berenstein Bear situation? Mandela effect, yeah. yeah. Wow. I don't no, know. she just looks bad. She looks fucking wrecked. <laughs> yeah, you're busted ass daughter in a painting. Uh, I'd be holding <laughs> yeah, a picture. Yeah, dude, if too. I was like, I'd be like, can someone paint my daughter like better? <laughs> I guess at that age, they're like, we're having kids at 12 and stuff. What's China's largest social networking platform? Weibo. Called? Wow, there Luke with three points. Weibo, and uh, with strict censorship regulations, many sites like Facebook can't be accessed in China. Sure. Tommy's on Weibo. You are? Oh, yeah. That's where I post my clips. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Okay. And I had a very racist thing I was going to do. <laughs> and then, Let's and just a, keep moving. And Let's I, keep moving. I Let's keep moving. myself <laughs> from doing it. Which four-player card game? Uno. No. <laughs> Which four player card game played in pairs like modern Euchre. Euchre. No. Rummy. Was Gin. popular in eighteenth century British parlors. Oh, um Hearts. Fuck. No. No, it's c- fuck. C- c- Craps? No. no. That's not a card game. I know. Whatever you're thinking is probably wrong. I know. Like a, no, I know I'm right. No, maybe I'm not. No, I think you're wrong. If you're thinking of a game that starts with qu- 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 Shoots and Ladders? No. Uh Okay. I have no, I'm no it's Whist. Oh, I wasn't going to get that right. What Whist was the game I was, was thinking of? the game we were looking for. All right, guys. This has been a great episode. Yeah, yeah beautiful times. This has been really fun. Uh, I appreciate all of you for coming on. Do your plugs one more time. You guys earned it. I'll be on August 6th at the gutter. And I'll be <laughs> your <laughs> crying shoulder. Edwin McCain voice. I'll be at the gutter. That's the only plug that matters. For yeah. Tim's show. Tim's heavily attended show. And I'll be there in the audience. <laughs> Thank you, Luke. You're welcome. I appreciate Luke and everything he does. Our favorite guest, the best guy who's ever come on the show. And, uh... <laughs> and definitely the highest scoring. Yes. yes. Well, it's not about the score. It's about the motion in the ocean. <laughs> and we're happy to have you here. That's what he said to you. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I wish. Uh, you wish uh, you would say that? Yeah. <laughs> All right. We have Some one... excuse. Guys, we have one final segment... <laughs> and that's sign offs. Oh yeah, Caleb sign offs. <laughs> Caleb, we do our Caleb sign offs, and here we go. Signing off, it is I, the greatest man to ever live, the <laughs> quiz master, the master of games, <laughs> Sierra Whist, <laughs> the jigsaw himself, the sadosexual uh. deviant. Timothy Grady McLaughlin II, Great. your Patreon dad, your free feed best friend, mm. and check out the Patreon at patreon.com slash great hang. Mm. All right, Luke, do your sign off. Thank you. Signing so, off for you. now. And that what a what a beautiful evening we've had. <laughs> yes. I'm not giving up and neither should you. <laughs> you gotta say signing off signing first. Off. Oh, signing off. Signing off. Thank you. <laughs> Old bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Micah. And signing off, it is I, the nicest woman in the world. Me and Micah. And most winningest person who 
knows Timmy so, so well and doesn't listen to Karen at all. It is I, mm. Micah Fox. And I hope you guys have a great, great rest of the day. day. <laughs>